Hey guys, what's up? My name is Nils and I'm a student at Vision Tech. And for my most recent project, I created um, a typography project in Photoshop. And I thought it turned out really well. I was quite happy with it. <clears throat> and uh, I will show you how to make it. So first of all, what you need to do is find an ori original image that you want to work with. I spent a lot of time finding this image. I just found it on Google. and. Uh, you want to find something that you'll really want to work with and that has cool elements to it that would make it interesting. One thing that stuck out to me in this this photo was the string of bullets slung across his left shoulder and uh, I just thought that would look really cool once I got done with it and it turned out really well. So what you want to do to start out is throw that image into Photoshop and in the case of this image it is not very high quality as it is an older image the resolution is only 470 by 610 so uh, the type when you type on this it will be the same quality as the picture if you do it like this which is not what we want because we want the type to be high quality so what you need to do to open a document that is proportional to this picture is you need to have this picture open in Photoshop file new project just call it typography and the preset needs to be the picture that's the name of the picture so it'll set it to the size of it but we need this picture to be much higher quality than this picture is so let's set that to 150 the image size will be about 16 megabytes and that's fine so create a new project alright so now what you need to do you can just close this is you need to put the original image into that document and set it alright so now we have something to work with first of all what you need to do is put a black background instead of this white one I usually just disable the preset background you need to add a new fill layer add a black fill layer to go behind that picture Alright, so now that we have that, we can start our typography. So, how this works is you use the pen tool to draw a line, such as this line. And you really need to get good at manipulating this. It's a. Uh, you get better as you go along learning how to manipulate all the key strokes and everything for the line tool uh, then you need to go to the text tool and hover that above the end of a line and as you see the cursor changes to uh, typing brackets above a dotted line that means that you'll start typing alright so what you need to do is size this down a little bit uh, then find a font that works for you this is the font that I used on my project. Oh, this there we go. Needs to be above that, obviously. So you need to find a font that works for you. I wanted to convey patriotism and a militaristic look with this project, so I chose uh, something with hard corners and stuff like that. But whatever works for your photo is what you want to use. So let's just say hero for now. Um, so now you want to manipulate, you want to do this basically over and over and over again using the lines that come with the picture and resizing it to fit the shapes that you want it to be. So you just need to do this over and over and over again. Like I said, it takes a long time let's do the nose here let's 
So when you're doing this, you really just need to get a feel for how the line tools work and all that. And I will not be creating this whole project in the tutorial because it would take way too long. But let's just say USA. And this happens a lot. You just need to adjust the line and resize everything until it works out. So now we have a couple words on here, and and you'll do this over and over and over again. Like I said, it takes a long time, and the best way I found to do it was to work in groups, and I will now switch to the final Photoshop document from my project. So this is my project and I will show you so this is the final thing and this is what it looks like as in the point of the other project. So as you see just adjusting and morphing all the words and letters to the shape of the image and what I did to categorize it is I put it in groups and you'll see here on the side there's groups for example here is the face group that contains all this stuff in here and within that, I even have more groups containing the chin and mouth, the cheek, and the nose and eyes. This really, really helps you categorize everything so you know when you need to go back and change something exactly where it is. And with those groups, you can also mask the, mask the groups to uh, give you a sense of depth. So how this works if you're not familiar with masks is that these right on the side here these masks mean that for example I'll go to the right sleeve or right jacket flap that would be good the right jacket flap right in here this mask means that the right jacket flap will not show up right in here so I can continue typing so it looks like the words are going underneath the arm right there. How you do that to create a mask is you click on the group, go down here to mask, and then you erase where you don't want the mask to show up. So if I would mask here, it wouldn't show up there do not want that however I just want it to not show up underneath the arm here so that's how masks work they really give a lot of depth to a uh, to a typography project such as this alright so once you're done with all of that which will again take a long time you're ready to overlay the image and how you do that is you duplicate the image you need to put it on top and then hide this layer below alright so what you need to do is have the black layer underneath with the text of then your original image. What you need to do is double right click on it, 
go to create clipping mask. Now what this does is it basically means that your image on top here is masked to this layer below only where this layer below exists. And this layer only exists on the letters. So this, uh, this your original image will only show through on the letters. And I also added a flag background, which that'll show up if you're behind the black. So I added a flag background just to add some color to it, I guess. And that is how you make something out of typography. Thank you.